Is the Ukraine war expanding? Is it turning into a whirlpool? One that is fast pulling in neighboring countries, NATO countries. Tensions are high on NATO's border. The Polish Prime Minister, in fact, is talking about a hybrid attack. There are all kinds of hybrid attacks right on our borders, on the Lithuanian border, on the Polish border. And there are talks of the Russian army moving towards Poland, of the Wagner troops moving towards a choke point. This one, the Suwalki Gap, it is in between Lithuania, Poland, Russia and Belarus. And for long, observers believe that this is where a war between Russia and the NATO will break out. Is that full-blown war on the horizon? Let's just start with the latest now. That's the troop movement. Poland is rushing troops to its border with Belarus. Warsaw has deployed combat helicopters, in fact. It is preparing for the worst. But the question is, what really was the trigger for this? Warsaw says Belarusian helicopters violated the Polish airspace, and this happened on Tuesday during a military exercise. The violation took place in the Bialowieza region. This is where it is located on the map. The, in fact, Poland has asked Belarus to explain the incident immediately, adding that the breach resulted in escalation of the border tensions. These are Poland's words, and Belarus claims the breach never happened. In fact, it is asking Poland to provide evidence to back its claim. The Polish Defense Ministry has none. It claims the border crossing took place in quote-unquote very low altitude, making detection by the radar systems difficult. How did Belarus reply to this? Let me just read out the Defense Ministry statement for you. The accusations of violating the border of Poland by the uh, helicopters of the Belarusian Air Force and the Air Defense Forces are far-fetched and were made by the Polish military and political leadership to justify the build-up of the forces and means near the Belarusian border. The people living in the border village of Belarusia do not agree. They say the violation did happen. Poland, remember, is a NATO member, which means that if the tensions escalate to a point where a war breaks out, it will not be just Poland joining the war. NATO will join the war. It is imminent. Poland claims it has already briefed NATO about the breach in the airspace and troops were rushed after consultation with NATO. But why Poland? Weren't Western analysts looking at Moldova as the next flashpoint? The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, had once claimed, remember, that his intelligences have uncovered, quote-unquote, a detailed Russian plan to undermine the political situation in Moldova. So were they false flags? Because it increasingly looks like Poland is becoming the next flashpoint. Not only are the troops being moved, leaders also are holding meetings in strategic locations. Earlier today, the leaders of Poland and Lithuania met at the Suwalki Gap. What's that? It's a strip of land that is often referred to as NATO's Achilles heels or its soft underbelly. Suwalki is barely 100 kilometers, but its location makes this strip of land extremely vulnerable. Let's just pull out that map once again for you. Suwalki is positioned between Kaliningrad and Belarus. I'm sure most of you know that Kaliningrad is a Russian territory. Many like to call it Russia's Hong Kong because of its distance from the mainland. And ever since Crimea, observers have been pointed Suwalki Gap as the location where a war between Russia and NATO breaks out. When Putin sent troops into Ukraine, military analysts said that Suwalki would be where Putin would strike first should he decide that NATO's involvement in the Ukraine war has not left him with much option. So has that time now come? We told you what Russia's former president, Dmitry Medvedev, recently said. That if Ukraine, in tandem with the NATO, ends up taking parts of Russia, Moscow will have no choice but to fire a nuclear weapon. Ukraine says, for that matter, that the war is coming to Russia. Will the latter stand by and watch? 
The airspace violation was just south of Sowalki. As we speak, the Wagner troops are reportedly moving towards Sowalki. At least that is what the Polish Prime Minister is claiming. And speaking at Sowalki, Mateusz Morawiecki said, and I'm quoting now, the Wagner group is extremely dangerous and they are being moved to the eastern flank to destabilize it. In fact, he said NATO members need to start talking about a coordinated response, including considering the closure of the border with Belarus. Listen in now to what Morawiecki said last week. Now the situation is becoming even more dangerous. We have information that more than 100 Wagner Group mercenaries are moving in the direction of the Suwalki Gap, not far from Grodno in Belarus. In fact, he is right. The situation is becoming more dangerous and we have been telling you this for a while now. The war is entering a bloodier phase. Tensions are rising faster than expected and the whirlpool stands to pull in more countries. Last week, Putin accused Poland of harboring territorial ambition, of wanting to annex Belarus. And in the same breath, Putin said an attack on Belarus would be an attack on Russia. Also last week, the Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko, told Poland it should thank him for keeping in check the Wagner mercenaries, who, by the way, are now stationed in Belarus. On the 23rd of July, when Putin and Lukashenko met in St. Petersburg, Lukashenko joked that Wagner fighters were keen to press into Poland and, quote-unquote, go on a trip to Warsaw and Resisau. NATO countries are getting up for the worst. America has approved the sale of David Sling to Finland. What is David Sling, you ask? It's an air defense system that has been jointly developed by the U.S. and Israel. In fact, the Israeli Ministry of Defense says that the system intercepts advanced threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones and more. This system will soon be positioned in Russia's backyard. And Russia, meanwhile, has already positioned nukes in Belarus. Are the two sides waiting for the sound of the war bugle? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.